On this episode of DPV, we're resurrecting my almost free 1977 Ford Ranchero. Dude, this thing's sweet. Yeah, it is almost all the way straight. There's a few, there's a few things it needs. Towing casualty. There was a towing casualty. I recently watched one episode of uh, Painter and I feel like I got that, that down. I think I can pop yeah. that out. It's like barely creased. Yeah, I think, I think we're gonna try so a basketball trick on that. that. That'll take a little hammer and dolly, eh. but. We're in a freaking pond. Yeah, I know. There, it is. This is where we're gonna work on it right here. This is. Should we? I wonder if we should pull it back to where it looks dry. I think it's all wet. This just got tore up with the tractor. You think that's wet too? Yeah. I picked this up from a buddy who got it from a buddy. You know, one of those things. And uh, the only reason he bought it. Or, and he didn't even buy it, he got it for free. The only reason he even was interested in it was he was like, I'm gonna pull the front bumper and then scrap the car. And I was like, I have that exact same bumper at home. I will give you that bumper and you just give me the car. And he goes, deal. And so I got my, it cost me the front end of a 1974-ish uh, Ford LTD. That's what it cost me, a Ford LTD bumper. That's so, awesome. What's a, uh, and what I've done since I've had it is uh, I dumped it off at my buddy's house who has some property. And that's where it's at currently. And we're gonna try to get this thing fired up today and driving, but we are working in a pond and uh, it's a bit dirtier than the last time uh, I saw this car and three it years ago. It smells just about as good inside as it does. <coughs> it's just as wet outside as it is inside. Oh man, does it have floors? Oh, are these the... Yeah, there's a spare. Oh, yeah. It's flat, too. There's more taillights. Okay. This was last licensed in, uh, cover people's names, 14. Yeah, 10 years? Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Oh, fresh and clean. Oh, we need... Oh, all it still of... has aerosol. Yes! <laughs> this, this is a win. <laughs> Don't want to waste it all on this side, though. We need... That driver's side definitely. Yeah. Oh, that smells so much better. <laughs> smells like baby powder. <laughs> yeah, like I said. <laughs> I don't know if that's better, man. Dude, this side has mold on it. We might be ditching these seats. <laughs> it smells like old lady. <laughs> How's this? Oh, this carpet is green and. I got a floor on this side too. Nice, dude, it's got a CD player. Oh yeah, we got this custom console. Made from wood. <laughs> we got, um, oh, I... Dude, I didn't realize there was that much storage behind the back seat. I don't know how to get to it. Oh, oh there's extra motor, motor oil. Yeah, that's nice, that's, that's gonna be good. Here's our tow rope if we need it. Oh, and some AT Type 4. Remember I said I didn't know what type it took? It looks like it takes Type F, and it looks like we might need some. Dude, there is a lot more storage back there. Dude. What is that dope? Oh, dude, that's under. Here's the, the best ATF you can buy. Western Family. <laughs> <laughs> Get this at the Harvest Foods. <laughs> hey! <laughs> dude, I got a swimming pool back here. Oh, my gosh. So... <laughs> The bed is rust free, that's good. Which is insane given the water. This was under, I pulled it out from under a carport and then here it sat outside, but. Oh, I didn't know it had a vinyl top. It might be okay. I mean, it was under a carport. Yeah. There's no reviving that vinyl. No, this vinyl. We're gonna hit it with the pressure wash and see what happens. Yeah. But. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see. Pop if the hood. Under the hood. Really hoping there's an engine under there, or this revival is gonna be really short. <laughs> Don't scratch the paint. 
It's got a protective layer of moss. <laughs> yeah. I believe this is white. <laughs> this actually pops better than the LPD. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> shit. no! That was not there last time we looked at this. <laughs> uh oh. It. The, this is. We are past Mouse House, Mouse Motel, Mouse Con. This is. <laughs> A McMouse Mansion. This thing is. I just want to go get the. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, we gotta go get some gloves. Not gloves. I don't. Know. Ooh. Is that poo poo? That's poop. This is bigger than mouse. This yeah. might be rat. This is varmint of. This is a rodent of unusual size. All right, we got some work to do. Yeah, we do. All right, turns over, uh, pretty, pretty easy. easy. Maybe too easy, we, meh. We got probably 80% of the poop and nest yeah, which... off the engine. We're, we're gonna need a shot back or some air or something, which we don't have currently. Car carburetor's not froze up, this is. Yeah. Turns out, I think we should throw a battery in it and Check for spark. Check for spark with the fuel. Um, we want to check for spark. Oh, check the oil. Let's check the oil. And uh, we got to figure out ignition like right away because I don't think I got keys. Oh. But I think I have an ignition tumbler. I think I brought a tumbler. Is the steering wheel locked up? Oh, there's a key in it. What? What? Yeah, things just keep getting easier. Yeah. That's like the Broncos. I was gonna say that reminds me of Alaska. <laughs> Dude, don't say that things keep getting easier thing. <laughs> what? Your Jeep's gonna break down now. It's got a key. It's got a tilt column. It's the uh It's probably 157. It's the Bergenhaut. What is it? Broham? Bro. I can't ever pronounce that word, and then when people that know how to say it say it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Let's call it Broham. Broham. Yeah, yeah it's probably 157. Still, it's not 257. For the price of 399, yeah. let's, uh, <clears throat> let's pull that battery out Bet. and throw a new one in. Fuel or just or. See, let's see if the starter turns over the engine. All right, yeah. Let's check for oil yeah. and see if the starter turns over the engine. Dude, I am actually pretty, like this could be a good going back and forth to work rig. Yeah. If this was cleaned up, take this on a date night? Yeah. I'd take this on a date night. If it didn't smell like... Oh, there we go. She's full. And it's like not... Yeah. It's not black. No. Probably looks better than the oil in my Jeep right now. <laughs> yeah. Diesel oil always looks black though. All right. Dude, I can't believe that mouse house. Dude, that was... I've never seen anything like that in real life. Yeah. I'm gonna... Are we worried it's gonna shock you? Well, I don't know. I heard a noise and it was my foot in the mud. <laughs> I need to loosen it more. I think it needs to be pretty pried open. It's perfect. You know the trash bag? 
Yeah. The room in the other. I, I, this is, this is just organic material. Yeah. How was that dented in? Well, there's structure behind it. I am so glad we did this now. Like, a little bit longer, this would have been rusted, so gone. Yeah. Is that washer fluid over there? Yeah. It's got some in it. Yeah, bro, it's a Ford. It's just gonna run. So that's the ground. Okay. Is that long enough to go up? No. It's better to be long enough to switch it over. Switch, turn it over. Flip it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This one, come over yeah. here. All right. Do we have a starter? Is that what we're going to check? Yeah. Is it in neutral or hard? Ooh. 12 volts. 12 volts. Twelve volts. Uh start it. Go it down. I'm only getting six volts to the Excited wire on the starter solenoid. Okay, so here's positive. I don't know if this is it's not safe. Okay, we got a starter. Yeah. Um dang it, I should have brought the lone wolf. Oh, you have a lone wolf now? I do. So we are not getting voltage here. That's what I had to just do on my pickup. And run a brand new wire right here. Yeah. From here to there. Okay, now that it's... If you do that, do we have spark? I don't know. He's on. Yep. Did that spark? Yep. No way! Yep. That little royal pine tree is doing a lot of work in that. Yeah. I just got hit in the face with poop. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that fired. Immediately. Dude, we're driving this thing home tonight. You're picking the kids up from school today. Am I gonna get hit in the face with more poop? We gotta go to the gas station, but oh dude, and we're gonna we are definitely gonna have to go through a gas station to clean off. Yeah. Like all of the poop. But holy crap, dude. This, it sounds good. At first that second fire, I was like, oh no, there's there's a knock. I think it was poop in the fan shroud just getting <laughs> knocked around. I got hit right here. <laughs> At least your mouth wasn't open. Oh it probably was. I got hit right here. I was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Just turds all in the face. Oh man. Oh, come on. 
got it. Got it? Thanks. That's helpful. Uh, that was a <laughs> that good, huh? Oh, it's bad. Then we want to disconnect it up here to see if it pumps out. Might be good just to like see it flush that part of the line. Make the who's in bed bigger. No. A little bit longer. Yeah. We could pull it. Huh? We could pull it before the that fuel filter. Oh yeah. I mean we're gonna change that fuel filter anyways. I'll get in there. Okay. You don't want fuel. Okay, stop. That's you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> okay. Works. Okay, stop as you're actively feeding fuel into the carburetor. We want this to stop. Fuel pump works. Oh, it does? You shot some stuff out? Yeah. Sweet. Got a filter? I know. Should we run to Napa? Yeah. What else do we need? Anything? You need a screwdriver? Funnel. In the back? Yeah. All right, we put two and a half gallons in it. We just picked up another two and a half gallons. We're going to try to run it off this gas can, see if we can get it idling. Picked up some clear filters. So get that all set up. Um, hopefully get it idling off the gas can. And then if that works, we're going to try to pull from the tank. I don't want to jinx ourselves, but <laughs> this is going really well. Cut it like here and then here? Yeah. That hole is not very good. Is that idling? Dude. What the heck, dude? Can you say nothing for a small walk forward, I guess? I mean, I had heard of that when Park ran in the Try it again. Yeah, let me get this back. Needs more fluid. The radio turns on. Huh. But it doesn't stay on. 
This is kind of nice little couple of things. Yeah. Yeah, I think this interior is actually going to clean up pretty good. Yeah. There it goes. Like the dash isn't cracked. Corbage? Corbage. Through a little Lucas uh, rebuilding a can here, bottle, whatever. Supposed to do lots of things, but hopefully it just makes the transmission work. That's all we really wanted to do. A must for towing vehicles, motorhomes, all other hardworking transmission. She's gonna work hard later today. Yeah, that's what we need for this. It's a truck. It's a truck, basically. It's a party in the front, business in the back. Yeah. Reverse mullet. Reverse mullet. We got ourselves out of the marsh. We've got brakes. Ish. Um, they don't return. <clears throat> they don't return. No. <laughs> so, but we have we haven't checked anything other than the pedal. So, um, we're gonna now that we're on the hard ground here, change the oil and uh, top off our coolant, and then figure out brakes. Soft lines, you think? Mm hmm. Oh, that's sketch. What? I mean, probably got to do it, but I hate breaking those things off. I brought uh, two inches. You did? Uh huh. Okay. Flaring tool? I did not bring a flaring tool. <laughs> we won't need it then. No. Service rocks, yeah. Uh, pulling a tire? Okay. like bad wheels though and look at those tires no, I would I would run these wheels before I bought wheels oh yeah look at those if you're running bigs and wheels I like a wheel size difference too yeah like a 14 in the front 15 in the rear CDDP vitamins Never. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> oh, 
you're going to film my first one, aren't you? Yep. And that audio is dead. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Alex just dumped another two and a half gallons oh, in. Catch me do the good one. No. <laughs> and a can of Berrimans. You just put in this uh, service loop. I don't think I've done anything. I put the tire back on. <laughs> that we took off. They didn't, the local now, when we were like, oh, the car's in Deary, there's a Napa there. And there is a Napa in town and you can get anything you want the next day from Spokane. The problem is it's the next day. Oh, look at that. That's not going nowhere. Yeah. Do you see how I pulled on that before I said that? That's how you know it's really not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the brakes are done now. <laughs> There were no parts in stock, so we're, we're done working yeah, on it. Yeah, we pulled the cap off. It has fluid. We've got a down pedal, no up pedal. Um, I think we're going to move the Jeep out of the way and maybe cruise down this road. Oh, the 55 mile an hour road? Or do you want to go into town where there's, like, traffic? <laughs> no. We need water. We do need water. Dang it. There's a puddle. I mean, I put two gallons in there. I can see the water level. You can? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there were three. We can maybe run up to the house. Yeah. See if he has any water. With the Jeep? In the Jeep, yeah. Okay. I had to grab my key real quick. so much <laughs> okay it's gonna work now <laughs> i'm gagging just thinking about it <laughs> that was like straight varnish oh that was nasty looking good job dude <laughs> We're thinking that the pump's too weak to pull from the tank, so we're gonna swap that out uh, real quick. I don't know how real quick, but we're gonna swap it out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, since this is not a Chevy, there's no telling what kind of fuel pump we might need, and we have the wrong one. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> so, we're gonna do the next best thing. This guy 
got the bug, the convertible bug, all the way to Spokane from Clarkson, so it's reliable. We're gonna put it in after the filter. We're gonna run the weak electric or the weak mechanical pump along with this electric pump on a battery that's not charging. But it's only 50 miles, so I think I think we're gonna be all right. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> you don't sound that confident. Should we see if they have a uh, an alternator at the? We don't know that it's the alternator that's bad. I mean, no, we don't. If we leave before it gets dark, you don't need the headlights. <laughs> it's four thirty. It's dark at seven. Okay. It's a minute drive home. So we're gonna be pulling out no later than six o'clock. And we're getting burgers. Oh, we're definitely getting burgers. I'm not, that doesn't. It's that non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. All right, let's get this pump in. All right, got this guy plumbed in there. We're all hooked up back to the carb. That is a NASCAR approved installation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, loosely zip tied, so a lot of flex, a lot of bend in the wires. Yep. <clears throat> so now we're gonna try to get it idling off the tank. Pour some fuel down the carb. Missed most of it. The radio intermittently. Fuel pump. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not working. I think it was that that fuel pump was intermittently not working. Maybe possibly why it kept dying before. I also got hit in the eye with a piece of pine cone. Is it better than getting hit in the mouth with a turd? Yeah. All right. wondering What's that now? it's the hard line going into the pump not the hose oh so does it need to <clears throat> do we just need to either bypass the mechanical or we can see if that fitting's loose I don't yep. know why it would be loose unless taking that out it just got knocked around yeah what size do you think it is uh might be half or uh, got some flat spots. Yeah, it's... They started life at round. Did you bring the jack with us just in case? I didn't want to leave it just out there. And All right, I uh, so to... I have zero accelerator pump. 
I the, feel that. You can feel yeah. that? I can feel that from the bathroom <laughs> seat. Oh, we got trash in the back. That's right. 35? Oh, we're gonna sleep. Oh. Oh. Okay, yep, you just gotta then pull your... Oh, these brakes are gonna be hot when we get home. That is for sure. Yeah. These brakes are gonna be warm. I'm gonna need to go through the brakes. I might get on Rock Auto and just buy caliper, Everything. a yeah. caliper and some hoses. Dude, yeah, it's not worth it to rebuild calipers. Horn no worky. Dude, it drives. Yeah. Remember earlier when you're like, that's your burnout. It is absolutely not going to do a burnout. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back around. Nope. nope. Where's this gas station? Keep going? Around the corner. Uh-oh. That was me. That was me putting my foot all the way in it. Oh. See Did it try to downshift? I think so. Okay. So it's not it that. wasn't trans-slipping? No. Okay. That was me trying to make the accelerator pop. Accelerate. Yeah, oh, tons of people at the gas station. But oh, keep going. Yeah. And then turn in. Yeah. Oh yeah, good call. Give yourself room to stop. What? Just gonna get the brakes back. What was that noise? The brake pedal. Oh. Okay. What size the gas tank? Oh, this. Your side. side. Uh, I'm gonna go right there and then swing around and try to hit right there. Okay. put some fresh gas in it we're gonna go grab a burger and uh, hit the road we got probably an hour and a half of daylight yeah we're gonna stop and have dinner <laughs> yeah it's a smart thing to do you don't want to be on the road hungry no so oh I feel like I got yeah. lots of breaks just I just be gotta... careful with that man I... I don't think you have so many you only have so many stops oh, okay because that thing locks up when we I screwed. wasn't going hard on them right there yeah do we have reverse? I, should yeah. I, should I pull in? Um, we have re we had reverse. Oh, up we there. did have reverse. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. All right, just had a delicious dinner there at Fuzzy's, and uh, we're on the road. Let's see Alex up there. Um, we opted for having backup vehicle today, uh, given that it's got about an hour of daylight left. About an hour drive if there's absolutely no problems. Uh, we didn't do anything to the brakes. Um, we've got a fuel pump wired in with, uh, you know, the twist method. And yeah, um, and I don't think the alternator's working. So it's all good. Dude, this is a lot like driving the, uh... Buick Electra, Bob. It, uh, with the Bob is, you, there's no secondary, so you gotta stay out of them. But with this, like, no accelerator pump, you just gotta, like, feather it to, uh, speed. And I have no idea how fast I'm going. I mean, Speedo's kinda bouncy. That's all right, we're good, we're good. I mean, if we can do 45, there is a grade that I'm really happy that there's going to be some uh, cutoffs for uh, runaway vehicles, just in case. But uh, we probably will be downshifting. Hopefully that works. But yeah, we're uh, see here what this sign says. Lewiston is 40 miles, so she just got to hold herself together for 40 miles. All right, we got this, dude. We got this.
we started down this, I believe it's a 7% grade. So, uh, it said trucks use lower gear and I'm a truck, so maybe dump it a second. I mean, that's working. Got the old girl in two. We do have some runaway truck ramps that are available if needed. And then we're just gonna take this turn kind of wide and then just slow down a little bit and then pull our brake pad back. Alright. Then we're just going to coast. Space coast. Ghost coast. Alright, so yeah. Windy road, 30 mile an hour. That'll be, that sounds good. We're, gonna, we're dancing there between 30 and 35. Feel like that's close enough. And uh, she's actually doing no brake. Just got her in second. I think I think it's good. Really surprised with those uh, pine needles on the, uh, they must got some really sappy ones because they are stuck on there. The tails are dancing, but the heads are stuck. All right, well, beautiful country out here. I actually feel a lot less sketchy about this now that I'm doing it than leading up to it. So that just proves to myself, just do it. It's be fine. We have Josh back there. So I kind of like the Ranchero. It's, uh, it's got enough leg room at least for me, I think we gotta figure out a way to get that seat to slide back. But there is so much storage space underneath there. That is, it's like a crazy amount. But it's because the bed sits up so much higher, it's kind of like an obstacle, obstacle illusion? Optical illusion. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're doing good. Sitting pretty. Oh, yeah, I think when we get down to the bottom here, we're going to pull over and check like one or two things. But I think just dropping her into second was the was the way to go. made it down the uh, sketchiest part of the trip. That grade, we were kind of worried about it because we didn't touch the brakes. I mean, we looked at them and uh, since we couldn't get parts, yeah, didn't do anything about them. But seems to be good. We're gonna, I think, pull over here somewhere and check everything out. This is pretty dang fun. We have ses successfully made it down the grade. This is, an absolute win. This is, we are light years ahead of where I thought we would be tonight. This is, this is nuts. If you're watching this, this is your sign. Go find yourself the cheapest rig you can find and drive it home. This is, this is a blast. Got an ant nest? Got an ant nest or ant hole of some sort. Sweet. How's it driving? Good. How are the hubs? Oh, that pops good. Yeah. Good. Good fire. That's a fire. That's a win, right? What's that? Oh, that's the like an evaporation can that should be here. There should be a holder that holds that there, but we'll just put it right there so it doesn't fall into the manifold. Yeah. Yeah, right, going. Is running any better? It feels like the carburetor's coming around. The ferryman just kinda needs time to work. The, I just, it didn't get me an accelerator pump though. Yeah. The, the Berryman did not let, add. Let me try to find my tire 
I can hear it kind of crackling when you're coming down the hill. dark we're getting so close we don't know if it's charging so we can't really run the lights hopefully we can make it we're back to town we just got to make it through town probably gonna take the bypass come on dude make it up the hill oh man no accelerator bump Come on! Oh yeah, we're picking up speed now. Man, he's feeding her the onions now. Freaking doing 60. Just feel confident since home is right across that bridge over there. You see me when I switched lanes and I put my hand up the window? Yeah. There was a sign that says all trucks use left lane. And so I was like, oh, oh. better get over. <laughs> Bags. <laughs> Your thought, wipers don't work. <laughs> oh, my wipers don't work, and it got rainy there for a little bit. Yeah, dude. Day of victory. Day of victory. These these ones don't happen very often. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's let's check the battery. Yeah. And you then if it's if it's good, then I'll just ride with you to the car wash. Uh. Do you know what? is the one bad thing about this though. What? This is giving me oodles and oodles of confidence that I can <laughs> do one of these from anywhere in the country and just drive it home. Yeah, like I think, four, our, I think our next start. one needs to be like 150 to 200 miles. All right, since uh, today was such a huge success, we thought this was supposed to be a two day event. Like we actually planned on sleeping in the Jeep and uh, we made it back, of course, and so it's not the right thing to do clean this bad boy up. It deserves a wash after a performance like that. It's running so much better. When we get out of here, I will show you what it sounds like. It sounds good. Well, what? It sounds better. <clears throat> it, hey, it sounds good. It, okay. It really does. I'm going to... Uh... Man, somebody was using this like a truck. Look at all the tie down. Oh, yeah.
gonna need a real pressure washer, but kind of gives us a little tease as to what it might turn out. Yeah, it. Like, look at the side of it. Yeah, I mean, it looks better. Yeah. I think, yeah, a real wash, a lot of car to buff, but. I think it's worth it though, dude. I yeah. think this paint will come out. Yeah. I mean, there's a few chips in it and stuff, but. Like, this is probably the better, one of the better paint jobs we have. The brown car is pretty good. Yeah, the brown car has a bad spot on the roof. Yeah. Pretty successful day, I would say. Oh, definitely today falls in the victory category. Heck yeah. What, uh, what's the next steps on this car? Uh, well, I think tomorrow I'm gonna clean it out. It's a little better on the inside. Maybe clean it up under the hood. <laughs> chase, chase some electrical gremlins. Try to get it fire up off the key. But, uh, car I'm back and forth to work right, actually. Yeah. yeah, dude, that would be sweet. I mean, once, once a week driver to work or so, once or twice a week. Yeah, put that uh, other Holly carb you got on there. Yeah, I got a Holly, I got a Holly 500 two barrel that I think would be the best. Yeah, no accelerator pump is no fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were coming up some of those hills and it like got down to 30 miles per hour and I was like, ah, oh, come on, man, come on. Just had to feather into it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to knock this out actually. Tomorrow I'm gonna I'll video that. I uh, got a trick with a basketball that my old painting buddy Boyd showed me, and uh, let's see if I can get him down there tomorrow. Heck yeah! This was this was a fun one. I'm uh, I'm excited to do more of these uh, resurrections in the future. Not 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 restorations. These are resurrections. We are just getting the cars going. Yeah, and some of them we may want to keep, and then some of them it's just like getting them to that next stage for the next guy yeah like making it seem like less of an impossible project it is so much easier to work on a project when it runs and drives and you can run it to the gas station fuel it up take it to cars and coffee hit up little cruise nights and stuff it's so much better to have a project that that moves heck yeah so anyway hope you guys liked it uh if you want to support the channel we got merch link down in the description below um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll wreck it, wrench and repeat. See Until you next, next time.